Hello. Yes, part two. I've been speaking to some veteran nationalists here in Liverpool today as to what possibly could have went wrong and why I got such a low vote. These are people that have been helping me out financially or they've been helping me uh, leaflet the ward or both. Others have helped me design leaflets. So I speak to these people because they have a lot of experience between them all. And we've sat down and, you know, been thinking what could have went wrong. Was it that I was only on the ballot paper as Joe Owens and not even an independent, let alone a political party? I don't know. I wasn't a political party last time. I was independent. So maybe just being on the ballot paper as Joe Owens confused people. I just don't know. I honestly don't know. But that's something I have to think about, uh, you know, for next time. Uh, was it the wrong message? I don't know. Voter apathy, Brexit. There'll be many factors, but all the same, all the same. The thing to do is to get back in there and find out what went wrong and what we've got to do to put that right. And I'm working on that now. Uh, also, there's something like 2,400 plus subscribers to my videos. Yes, a handful of you are, are the only ones that financially donate. So what are you watching my videos for? Well, exactly. They part of the white nationalist entertainment uh, industry now. You just watch them for entertainment. Go on to Joe Owens, then on to someone else, then on to someone Is that what you watch them for? Well, you may as well unsubscribe and bugger off if that's what you're going to do. If you're just going to watch them. What's the point? You don't even financially donate. You know, five or a tenner. And also, there's one or two veteran nationalists here in Liverpool watching this video now that want to be ashamed of themselves. They never offered any financial, physical or even any moral support. You know, hang your head in shame because you know who you are. Uh, you're another one, right, that needs to uh, stop watching these videos and just carry on watching the entertainment, the pantomime and circus, you know, and all the rest of the nonsense. You see, there is no other way around this, right? We can test elections or... We get involved in the pantomime circus, right, which is achieving nothing. You all know it's achieved nothing, right? I won't be reporting back so much now what I'm doing in Kensington and Fairfield, right? Because it's pointless and I'm letting my opponents know what I'm doing. I'm not going to do it anymore. I've done it in the past for a reason. And I don't think that, that worked the reason why uh, I was reporting back. I don't think it's worth it. It's probably backfired. So I'll just be in there now doing what I have to do. And that speak to the good people of Kensington and Fairfield. They may do the odd video now and then to let you know what's happening, but I won't be uh, divulging any tactics or strategies or even successes, uh, victories. I'll just keep that uh, between me and those I, uh, do, you know, I um, talk to in Kensington and Fairfield. Uh, so I'm going to get back in there. I've been told to people and we've just got to carry on. You see, Joe Owens is an ideologue. I'm ideologically driven. I know this isn't going to be done overnight or within one or two elections. It's a long drawn out battle. I understand that. Reading that book here at the moment, that book's not politics. It's a hobby. Remember that. All this stuff is history. It's a hobby. People like Richard Sorge didn't give in. He was hung in the end for his activities. Japanese uncovered. He was a spy for Stalin. And he was hung. But these people don't give in. Right? And neither should we. We have to roll our sleeves up and get back in there. Okay, thank you. Oh, by the way, I'll leave a link below. Let's start donating now. Let's prepare ourselves for the next election. Okay, thank you.